Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by and thanks to all newcomers uh, for taking the time. Everyone, if you're subscribing, I really appreciate it. Uh, it helps the channel, all creators to have uh, more subscribers. It attracts more attention. I appreciate that. So this is the moon at uh, 2 a.m. from 1 to 2 a.m. Really short with the P900. It's almost done actually. It's just the P900, right? But it's nice to see the whole sphere, as I can't with the bigger telescope. Let's get into the big telescope with the 14-inch. Thanks for watching, everyone. Get some music up. This is the moon, and you'll see that the Terminator line is on top. Again, uh, Mare Serenitatis is now facing uh, west and east again. So it's, it's look, Aristarchus is on top. It's always uh, changing all the time. We'll get some nice, nice views of the surface. Thanks for watching, everyone. Overexposure of the surface of the moon will give you a gray surface. Take the exposure down.
What is this orange object on the surface? There's a yellow one a bit higher up. Many colors on the surface, even some reds. To me, the fact that NASA and scientists and physicists and whoever is examining the moon and working on examining and sharing to the public what's up on the moon, since they haven't mentioned all these triangular craters, um, octagonal shapes, symmetrical shapes like squares, rectangles, and even perfect circles, leaves me um, to wonder on the information that was given to us. I'm not saying that everything that we were told was a lie, but let me tell you, I just think some things are being left out on the surface. It's not that they're lying about them, it's that they're not necessarily mentioning certain um, intriguing phenomenons and uh, findings on the surface. But we together are going to find them. This is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had about a 